This is level I and we're doing list seven and we're on our day one page. So we've got begin, below, behave, between, behind, bathe, teeth, breathe, soothe, clothe. So up in the top ones, we've got all these words starting with B-E and the E is making its long sound. So let's colour in that E in all of those words. And then in the next lot of words, we've got the T-H-E at the end of a word. And you can certainly hear it. Listen to it as we say. Bathe, teethe, breathe, soothe, clothe. Now, um, so the T-H-E, the E is making that previous vowel make its long sound. Even though we've got two consonants in there, we've only got one sound. So if we took that E away, it'd be bath, teeth, uh, teeth, bath, teeth, breath and cloth. Now, these words up here, it's not too bad. There's not too many different things in there, but there are a few things we need to look at. In O, we're using the O-W for the O sound at the end of a word. Behave, we're using that E for two reasons. It's making that A make its long sound. And it's also, we know that English words can't end in V, so we have to put an E on the end. We always have to make sure these words with a V near the end have an E after them. In between, we've got the E making, one E making the long E sound. And here we've got the two E's making the long E sound. You know that the letter I can say I before an ND. So um, make sure you're thinking about that. Um, but A, that's pretty easy. You've got the double E again here. T, you've got the EA here for the long E sound. You've got the U, the double O, and that's making that make the long E sound. So, but A, all right, you can put in those um, little rainbows too. Let's look at the meaning of these words now. Begin means the start of something. So here we've got a boy starting a race. Um, below means that you're underneath something. So the dog is under the table. It's below the table. Um, behave means your behavior. So if you've got good behavior, you're doing the right thing, you're putting hand up to speak, etc. But sometimes you can have poor behavior from people. So they might say behave if you need to be reminded to be a good person and make good choices. Between is where you have something on either side of you or an object on either side of something. Behind is when you have something in front of you or there is something in front of something else. Bathe is when you wash yourself. So, And also when you go swimming in the ocean, you might say that, that, that you're bathing in the ocean. Um, it just means probably to get wet. Teeth is, a teeth is when you've got teeth coming through and it can be quite uncomfortable. Um, breathe, where you're taking in air and um, breathing out some air. Soothe is when you try and calm someone um, who's upset. Um, and clothe is when you put clothes on, when you dress someone, you clothe them, or you clothe a baby, or you put your clothes on. Um, okay, so let's read the word, sound the word, spell the word. And write it, we've got begin, B-E-G-I-N, B-E-G-I-N, B-E-G-I-N. And you can write it three times and check it. Now these words, because they have more than one syllable, you might be starting to find it easier to break them into their syllables. So you could go begin, begin, below, below, or you could go... Um, and then when you spell it, you go B-E-L-O-W, B-E-L-O-W. Okay, so might be easier to break them into the syllables here, whereas here you're going to go but a the but a the but a the B-A-T-H-E, B-A-T-H-E, B-A-T-H-E. So that's only one syllable, so it's easier to actually sound out each part of the word. But in the lists that follow, you might find you've got quite a few more than one syllable words that you might find it easier to break up.
This is level I, list seven, and we're doing the day two. So we've got begin, below, behave, between, behind, bathe, teethe, breathe, soothe, clothe. So in these words, we've got BE at the beginning of all of these words, and the end of them, you've got some revision of sounds. Get it, and you can just sound that one. You know the OW for the O sound. This E is making that A make a long sound, behave. Here you've got the double E for the long E sound, and you know that we may use an I for the long I sound before an ND or an LD. So we're just revising quite a bit in that list. Now down here you've got bathe, teeth, you've got the double E for the long E sound. Here you've got the EA for the long E sound. Ooh. And you've got this E making that make a long uh, O sound. So let's have a look at what these words mean. So begin means the start of something. Below means there's something above you or above, above the thing. It's less than or underneath. Behave means when you're being very good. Um, between means an object is between two other objects. It has something on either side of it. Behind means you have something in front of you. Um, bathe means to wash yourself or to swim in the ocean. Um, teeth means when you're getting teeth. Breathe is when you take in air and you expel air. Um, keeps you alive. Soothe is when you calm someone down that may be upset. And clothe is when you put clothes on yourself or someone else. So let's have a look at reading, sounding, spelling and writing these words. So we're going to go, we'll break these ones into syllables. Begin, B-E-G-I-N. And if you need to spell each part, you go B-E-G-I-N. Begin, but probably easier to break them into syllables because they all are all two syllable words. Now down here you've got b a v and that e is making that make a long sound so you're going b a v b a t h e cover it and write it with don't forget that e on the end um, you can actually hear the v on the end of those words too it makes it easier write a list word that means and you've got some different um, definitions there to fill in fill in the gap with the missing list word. I had to choose something, a puppy or a kitten for a pet. So you had to make a decision between two things. So um, between would be the missing word. Now down the bottom here, you've got to choose which is the correct word. So I'd suggest you go through and highlight them first and then um, fill them in. So I will bath or bathe in the bathtub or bathe tub. I will bathe in the bathtub. So finish highlighting the rest of those and then you can come back and write them in. Off you go. This is level I, list seven, and we're doing the day three. So write the words, let's look reading them first. Begin, below, behave, between, behind. Bathe, teethe, breathe, soothe, clothe. So have a look at some of the sounds in these. That's quite easy. It's just g i t n. You know the v. The e is making the long e sound. Here you've got a revision of the o w for the long o. Here you've got the e making the previous vowel make its long sound, and there's a consonant in between. Here you've got the two e's for the long e sound, and here you're using an i, and you know you can use an i, and it will say i before an n d and an l d in a word. Bathe, you've got the E making the A make the long sound. Teeth, you've got the double E making the long sound. Breathe, you've got the E A making the long E sound. Soothe, you've got the O sound like in zoo. And clothe, you've got the E making that previous vowel make its long sound O. So let's read the words, sound the words, spell the words and write them and then check to see if they're correct. So we've got Begin, you might be best to break these all into syllables. Begin, below, behave. Because that's a long vowel sound, we would split these syllable, these words 
after that long vowel sound. Because when we have a long vowel sound, we leave the syllable open. That means we don't close it by putting a consonant at the end of that syllable. That would, if we ended that with a consonant, we had two Gs there, that E would make a short sound then, say begin, uh, rather than begin. Okay, so we've got begin, B-E-G-I-N, cover it and write it. Down here you've got B-A-V-E, B-A-T-H-E, cover it and write it. Make sure you check to see that it's correct. Now, if we take away that E on the end, rather than having bathe, we'd have bath. Teeth would change to teeth. Breathe would change to breath. Um, clo clothe would turn, change to cloth. So that E on the end is very important in making those long, those long sounds say their long sound. Okay, write the base word for each of these. You've got to take them back, so you've got to take the ing away, and e goes away when ing comes to stay, so that means you've got to put the e back. Here, same thing, if you've got behaviour, the we've changed the e into an i there, so you've got to put that um, e back at the end of that. You know English words can never end in a v, but this e is also here to make that a make a long sound. Opposites, all you have to do here is take off the prefix. So misbehave, if we take away the miss, becomes behave. This one we've got a bit of a um, definition for you. So you can finish those. They're all these the words are all found at the top here. Now these words down here are all verbs. So we've got begin, behave, teeth, soothe, breathe, clothe and bathe. Here you're adding the S to them. Um, and here we're adding the ing. So be very careful here, you know, when we're adding, e goes away when ing comes to stay, so keep that in mind there. Here in the past tense where we usually add ed, we've got some irregular verbs happening. So we don't say he begin the lesson, we change it, change the um, base word to began. We don't say begin. So these are called irregular verbs when they don't follow the normal pattern of adding ed at the end. So be very careful when you're doing that one. Down here, proofread, circle the correct word, this word, and write it. So they're quite easy for you to do. It's just helping you so that when you write, you learn to look at your words and see if a word spelt incorrectly, then you need to rub it out and change it and spell it correctly. So they should be quite easy for you to finish. This is level I, list seven, and we're doing day four, and we're talking about prepositions. So some of these grammatical terms sound a bit scary, but if you look within the word, you usually find what it means. So I can see the word position hidden inside that very long word. And the, a preposition tells us the position of something it gives us the where um, in this particular activity. So link prepositions link a noun or a pronoun to another word in the rest of the sentence. They often represent a position. Where can a mouse go? So these are we've got some mice hidden all throughout this picture, and they've given numbers, and you're going to do an activity with them in a minute. But let's have a look at some of the words that are prepositions that we could use to fill in these sentences. We've got above, behind, below, beneath, beside, between, beyond, by, in, in front of, inside, near, next to, on, over, under and underneath. And we've put them in alphabetical order to make them a bit easier for you to find. So these words all tell us the position of where the mice might be um, in the picture. And so you have to read the sentence and fill in the missing preposition. So number one mouse, you can see up here, I've highlighted it for you. And you can see he is standing next to the kettle. So there is a mouse 
next to the kettle, let's say yes, next to is a preposition. You might even say beside, so you could use beside or next to in there. So let's put, the there is a mouse beside the kettle. Um, so you can read the rest of those, find number two, work out where that one is. Um, the mouse is hiding something, the thermos, I think it's hiding behind the thermos, so you'd have to find that word and write it in. You can finish those on your own. Now when you get down here, you have to write the whole sentence and you've got to use a preposition in your each sentence. So if you look at number nine, where is number nine? We've got to find him, he's hidden in the oven. So the mouse is in the oven would be okay. Or you could put inside the oven. Um, so you can write those sentences all on your own, but make sure you use one of these prepositions to tell us exactly where the mouse is.